Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to do a little product review and this is going to be on the No More Oops bead tray and here it is and it's made by um, Darlene Fall and she has a, an Etsy shop called Lakeside Jewelry and she's also a member of my Inspira Beaters Facebook group page. So she contacted me and asked me if I would like to receive one, play with it and then do a review on it and I thought it was a great idea so absolutely. So here it is. I'll just give you a quick overview of it. It's made of the same material as your bead mat, the ones I always use. It's double thickness, so it's nice and sturdy, and um, it's you know it's got some weight to it. It sticks to your mat, see, so you don't have to worry about it sliding all over. So when you know it's that's a really good point that you know that it's the Velux like your mat, so they stick to each other. She's lettered the compartments. So here are a whole bunch of compartments. Here we've got nine compartments for all your beads. She's lettered all the compartments. This is great for any kind of peyote, of course, Cellini spiral, any kind of peyote pattern, um, flat Cellini. It would, be, it would have been really good also for the Russian spiral that we did in the last video, ABC. Remember ABC, ABC? <laughs> would have worked great for that as well. Um, I'm going to put all her information in the description box below the video. I'll put her name, her Etsy shop. Here's another way of contacting her. She also has given me a coupon code for, for you, and it's going to be Steph Trey, S-T-E-P-H-T-R-A-Y. I will put that in the description box below the video uh, so that you can use that. It's for free shipping. Um, so, you know, if you decide to order it, use that because you'll get free shipping. Uh, any questions that you might have, please contact Darlene and ask her. She's, you know, she'll answer anything that you need to know. All right, so I'm going to fill up my tray and um, we're going to play with it a little bit. So I just want to show you before I do that, I am, we're going to do a little two-drop peyote. So that'll be fun. So you learn a little two-drop peyote and um, we'll get to play with the tray. All right, see you in a few. Okay, let's play with the tray and with some two-drop peyote. So with two-drop peyote, you're going to put on even count. You're going to put on an even number of groups of two beads. So when you do regular peyote, you just put on an even number of beads. So we're just going to put on a, an even number of groups of two. All right, so here I have on my thread two blue. So I put my beads out in my tray here, and I have two blue, two green, two red, and two turquoise. So that's an even number of groups of two. All right. So you have, um, you know, just put on a practice piece of thread and a stop bead. All right, so drop those down to your stop bead. Like that. So now to get this pattern, I'm going to pick up two turquoise. I'm going to skip the last two turquoise and I'm going to come through, sew through the next, the two red beads. Like that. Let me pull a little bit. And I pull those together. Those two turquoise beads sit next to the previous turquoise beads. Just like that. So for my next beads, I'm going to, have to I'm going to pick up two of the I'm going to skip the red bead and I'm going to pick two up pick up two of the chartreuse beads. I'm going to skip the two chartreuse beads and I'm going to sew through the two blue beads. Like that. That's going to sit those two chartreuse beads next to, next to the previous ones. Just like that. I'm going to pick up two blue because I'm coming back down. So I've gone up in this direction. I'm just going to come back down again. Pick up two blue. Put on the blue. Pick up two red. Put on the red. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going back up again. I'm going to pick up two turquoise. Come through the red. I'm going to pick up two of the chartreuse or the green and come through the blue. Going back down again this way. Pick up two blue. Put on the blue. Pick up two red. Put on the red. And so on. And then I'm going back up, so I'm going to pick up two 
of the turquoise, two of the chartreuse, go back down, pick up two blue. Goes fast this way when you do two drop. And it's really pretty. So you can do any pattern you like. Alright, so that's the whole thing. So there we go. There's our our two drop stripes. Alright, so if you want to play with that a little bit, get that done, and then um, come on back and I'm just I'm gonna show you how to do this little checkerboard pattern because that's fun too. Alright, seeing a few. Okay, we're back. So let's do this little checkerboard pattern. So you really need just two colors for this checkerboard pattern, but I've put them out um, in groups anyway. So I have, I'm going to do six groups of two, so I just thought I'd put them all out. And it's great because it, I just, it just gives, it gives me this sense of order, <laughs> which is nice. Okay, so, so I'm going to pick up two hematite, two chartreuse, two hematite, two chartreuse. Two hematite, two of the last one. So I have six groups of two. We'll pull in. We don't need the letters. Now drop them down. Let's see if I can tighten this up a bit. Here we go. All right. So now I'm going to start with my a chartreuse row. So I'm going to pick up two of the chartreuse beads. I'm going to skip the bottom two chartreuse. I'm going to come through the two hematite beads. I pull. It's going to sit that. Those two next to the previous two. Going back to going to the next two chartreuse. I'm going to skip these two and sew through the next two hematite beads. up my last two chartreuse and sew through the last two hematite beads. Like that. My pull. This is what I have. Alright, so the goal for this is to get these groups of four beads to make a checkerboard pattern. So I know now I need to put on some hematite beads to get the four, group of four there. So I'm going to pick up two hematite, sew through the two sticking out chartreuse beads. I'm going to pick up two hematite, sew through the next two. Pick up two hematite, sew through the next two. All right. So I have my groups here. So now I already have I have the four chartreuse beads here. So the next one needs to be hematite. So I'm going back to the hematite. Like that. Hematite. Hematite. Okay. So now that I'm, I'm done with that row, I, these, I have my, my group of four here now. So I'm going to go back to the chartreuse. So pick up two chartreuse. Like that. Like so. Now I'm going to go back to my hematite. the chartreuse. Just like that. And there you have it. So we've got that little checkerboard pattern going there. Alright, so this is this is um, 
had been has been a lot of fun. Uh, and the two drab peyote is a lot of fun. It's a really cool little tray. Um, I, I really like playing with it. I enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check the uh, description box below the video for all the information on the tray and the code. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.